<laughs> the pandemic forced a lot of businesses to rethink how they operate. Like Tombolo Books here in St. Pete, they figured if people can't come to their store, then they'll just bring the books to you. Yeah, and the idea actually stuck. Alsace Valentine has been riding around town her, uh, on her bike for months now delivering books, and people absolutely love it. She's uh, been selling books for more than 20 years and wasn't sure if online orders would work, but she says she's made more than 200 deliveries <clears throat> excuse me, in the past year. Take a listen. The great thing about it is that we get just a little tiny bit of FaceTime with people. When I'm delivering something, people are like, oh my God, wait, stay and talk for a minute, you know, because some people really are still indoors at their homes and that's it. Ah, uh, yeah, Tombolo is uh, reopened, but uh, she says that she keeps her bike close by and still makes the occasional delivery. So cool. Pe uh, even though technology has changed, Grant, a lot of people read on their uh, tablets now, but yeah. it's amazing that people really, they just like to have that material mm. book. Oh, yeah. That's something to hold in their hands, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think a lot of people appreciate just the, the physical act of turning the page. Mm -hmm. And then the smell of a book. Right. Oh, you know, smell of a bookstore. All right, those right. Things I think we get kind of nostalgic about, right? Yeah. And, and reading a good book, for sure.